All right, so we're gonna do a girth hitch and a prusik hitch in this little video. So before I get started on a girth hitch and a prusik hitch, I have to have a piece of cord that I'm gonna tie it in. In this case, I'm gonna use a short prusik loop that I'm gonna tie my girth hitch and prusik hitch with. So I've tied my double overhand, or excuse me, my, uh, yeah, a double fisherman's uh, to make this into a loop. So this is gonna go around something um, such as a rope. So if I have my rope here, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put a bite of this, uh, of this loop around here, and if I just feed one end around here, we've all done this before, this is what we call a girth hitch. And uh, it's nicely set up here so that I don't have the knot in the middle of my hitch, uh, nor do I have it at the very end of the hitch here. So the knot's kind of offset here a little bit. So that's a girth hitch, check and done. If I continue to wrap this around a second time, People will oftentimes call this a prusik hitch. Uh, and then if I wrap it around a third time, technically this is what people will call an improved prusik hitch. For our purposes, we're gonna use the three wrap prusik as our default position. So when we say prusik hitch, we're thinking a three wrap prusik. So in my three wrap prusik here, you can see I have six strands uh, in my prusik that come all the way across here without any crossing except for this outside one that comes all the way across. Uh, and then this thing, when I pull snug on it here, it'll bite right down and won't allow it to slide, but if I loosen up, it'll move back and forth, bite right down either way when I pull on it. So that's my press a catch.